Hello and welcome to Newx Bytes, part of a series of small videos to help you get the most out of Newx. My name is Carl Barron and I'm a Senior Solutions Consultant at Newx. The first thing we're going to cover is selective processing based on MIME type. Newx allows you to select different levels of processing depending on the file type. An example of where this could be used is if you had a large number of forensic containers to process. By default, Newx would process all files, including system files, which may be completely irrelevant to the case at this stage. This additional processing of files will take additional time, which may be an issue in time-sensitive cases. MIME type filtering allows you to select or deselect different file types to process, and also what level you wish to process each file type. Carrying on from previous Newx Bytes videos, you can find the MIME type filters in the processing settings screen. If you click on the tab at the top, you will be presented with a list of different file types which can be processed. From here, you can be selective which file types you would like to process and at what level of processing you would like for each file type. As an example, I can deselect all file types. I can then start choosing the file types I require to process. If you would like to only process certain files based on file header, you can maximize each group and view each individual file type and be selective which items to process. When dealing with data, you may find that some of the data which has been processed is encrypted. To decrypt this data before processing, you can use the decryption key management feature to select the file, the key store and the password. This is available for encrypted PGP and SMIME email messages, mail extender, and Lotus Notes NSF files. On encountering an encrypted email, Newix reads the private keys from its configured keyring collections or key stores. For this example, I've come across an encrypted NSF file. Using the decryption key management feature, I can select the Lotus Notes NSF file. I can then select the accompanying ID file, and finally enter the password. Once I click OK, that NSF file will be associated with the ID and the password, and will be decrypted and processed correctly. Finally, I have chosen my processing options and clicked OK. I am presented with the pre-filter screen. The pre-filter screen allows you to browse through the data in tree form, and to pick certain files or directories in which you would like to process. The pre-filter screen will also allow you to open up container files and select items or directories within the container files. In this example, I have selected an NKCE01 file and a Microsoft Exchange database file to process. I have browsed through the tree structure and selected certain areas of user space which I require to process and also certain mailboxes to process. Once I click OK, Newix will start processing the areas of data which I've selected to process. Thank you for watching and feel free to check out some of the other Newix Bytes videos on the Newix channel.